morning and happy new year i am making this this is my first video in 2022 and i'm doing a little new year's reset like most people a lot of people take like a little break for the holidays there's a bird chirping outside and i'm really sorry i spend pretty much all my time on my weekends filming and editing videos so i really just wanted some time off but i'm back this is my first video of 2022 i i love the new year because it's a fresh start but i never really make super high expectations for myself because in the future i feel like i always set really large resolutions and then I get really down when I don't accomplish those things so I'm really just setting myself up for more success this year by creating like monthly goals so I bought like a 2022 planner I'm gonna show you that in a little bit but in the back there's like a note section so after every month I'm gonna go through and talk about like what goals I accomplished what goals I want to accomplish the next month so I started off my like projections of like what I want to accomplish in January wrote those down but we'll talk about that a little bit more later really in January I just want to focus on creating a routine I work from home so like it's easy to have a routine but also it's hard because I feel like my days that I work my nine to five job versus my days that I'm off are like two different lifestyles two different people I look disgusting like I literally roll out a bed in my t-shirt grab my like laptop for work get on the couch like struggle to make a cup of coffee like I have no energy and no motivation and then like on my days off so like today I'm so motivated like I got up at 7 when Cody gets up for work put on my comfy like robe from skims that I got for Christmas and I'm like let's start making a video like I'm so motivated I want to get a set routine that's not any different that whether I'm working or not I want to drink a gallon of water every day this month I'm kind of behind like I've been drinking water fresh start today it's the third we're still we're still early into January so that's what I'm really focusing on is my routine so my mental and my physical health i made a nice little shot of espresso from our cute little espresso cups comes with a little platter you i'll have these linked below i'm trying to clear up my skin my skin breaks out tremendously from what i eat so i'm focusing on health this month i need to clean out the fridge the pantry it's a new year's reset so we're doing all the things i really want to just feel organized when everything's clean i feel my life is in order and that's really what i would focus on is feeling like order this year okay i don't know what's next on my list i'm gonna take down the christmas tree i think that is what's next. i need to take down our christmas tree i've taken down the rest of our christmas stuff except for that i've really been putting it off but it needs to go it's a flock tree so whenever i like move it at all the flock is just like goes everywhere i'm just gonna quickly take it down vacuum up the mess get ready for non-Christmas time. It's really sad, but let's do it.
cleaning up of doing stuff around the house. So I have been working on doing a vision board. I started making one on my Canva. I'm not gonna physically print it. I'm gonna set it <clears throat> as my desktop background. And I started working on it, but I haven't completely finished it yet. So I'll show you what I have so far and kind of my vision and my overall just aesthetic for the year. It hasn't really changed much. Honestly, I still have a lot of the same goals that I did for last year, um, but I have a different mindset. I'm definitely in a way different mindset than I was last year. I'm needing to drink some water if I'm gonna get my gallon in for the day. So, so I'm gonna show you what I have thus Far. Really, I just go on Pinterest like most people probably do and find inspiration photos and just kind of get some inspiration um, from that. So I'm just making like a collage. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Really kind of keeping in with the whole neutrals, but adding a little bit of pops of color and then just some like inspiration. So like don't quit, be content with what you already have, which is what I told you. Jesus, drink more water. This is just like a, you know, going for the gold there and million views on YouTube. I think it's fun to have a vision board. Like looking at mine from last year, I did accomplish a lot of those things and got a lot of those things. It's also cool looking back and being like, oh, I don't really care if I have that anymore. So yeah, really I'm just focused on like taking it easy, slowing down, being content and really focusing on a routine is like my main goal. I want to add some more about fitness and really just focusing on health. I mean, you got to be healthy. You gotta take care of yourself, especially mentally. It is important. And you guys, I just finished doing my vision board. Okay, so this is pretty much the fish finished vision. I have some like aesthetic type photos. I just have like some encouragement. It's kind of funny because I have like, I really want to work on more TikToks, but also social, social self care, meaning like taking off on Sundays. I really just like this little guy. I think he's cute. Just working on my wardrobe. So I just put like a cute piece there. I love this the style of home. I really wanna work on um, doing a lot of things to our home this year. I'm gonna make this my desktop background on my computer because I look at it every day. So I'm gonna download that really quick and then I'm going to send it to my phone so I can make it my phone background. And we're gonna work on our visions. We're gonna work on our 2022 work on yourself. We've got it. I'm in a little bit different location. Cody's about to be on his lunch break, so I came. I'm at Chipotle, and I'm about to get us some lunch, so that's fun. I put on a little bit different outfit. I got this cute little fuzzy quarter length vest for Christmas. I'm gonna get us some lunch. Chipotle is like, the bomb. It's technically like fast food. I truly believe that you can make Chipotle healthy if you really wanted to. Obviously if you wanted to be unhealthy you could like go all out but for the most part I get pretty healthy meal. I'm gonna run in and get us some food and then I'm gonna run back home. Alrighty I have got the goods. So we're gonna go home. I actually did end up getting some chips because I'm can't resist their chips are like chef's kiss i'm running home now to eat lunch forgot to get plastic i forgot to get plastic forks which sucks because if you know chipotle just tastes five thousand times better whenever you eat it with the plastic fork 
but okay there's a lot of things going on so i'm gonna get home before i um cause a wreck You saw a second ago I unloaded all of the things into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. I went by Ulta because I was out of my facial radiance pads. So I gotta stock up. Um, I like to start the new year making sure I have everything stocked, loaded. We like to go grocery shopping, start the year off with fresh food. Always use the First Aid Beauty facial radiance pads. These are so great to like gently exfoliate as well as take off like once I've washed my face and gotten my makeup taken off I love using that and it takes off any like excess dirt and makeup for my face I'm trying a new product by first aid beauty so far I haven't been disappointed by them um at all so I'm trying the wild oat hydrating toner I've heard some good things for like sensitive skin which is what I have so we're gonna try it out and then normally I get the first aid beauty just like facial cleanser but I have tried the CeraVe cleanser before and it's honestly like the same thing and it's less than half of the price it's ten dollars from Walmart for this big pump so this will last me a long time so I always just look for a super sensitive cleanser that doesn't have any fragrances and oil and this is a go-to currently so just some cute little new facial things i'm gonna go now and clean underneath my sink and it's just terribly cluttered i'm gonna go through and just like toss stuff i don't want get a little organized this is your heads up to go get organized too go throw away all your things that you don't need because we're getting organized this year so let's go to the bathroom now and get started all right so my daily products that i use is in this drawer right here so this is like my face products that I use pretty much every day, like my toothpaste, basically my like nightly routine things. So I'm gonna take all of these out. I've got like at least seven contact cases in here. Just started using this Moon Whitening Toothpaste just for like whitening and it's pretty bomb, I gotta say. So I'm just gonna take out these like this Tula stuff, so old, it needs to go. Okay, first and foremost, we're gonna clean this drawer out because it is nasty. So I'm gonna get some wipes. I use this drying lotion every day. Contact solution, for sure. Face wash, for sure. Radiant pads, toothpaste, moisturizer, toner, deodorant. Oh, and then I'm keeping one contact lens and the rest is going. Goodbye. Kind of a disaster, but that's okay. Really the main thing that's a disaster is this. This is pretty much everything that I don't use on a daily basis, but like when I'm getting ready, I've got my Dyson, which I use quite often now. And then I've got my Olaplex hair product. And then these drawers that just is filled with random crap. Oh, found a nice little scrunchie. Let me figure this out really quick. I'm gonna make a pile of stuff that I still use and then a pile of stuff that's gotta go. I don't even know if I am gonna get rid of anything. Okay, yes, I got to. You know the Here is my like daily drawer of all the things I use pretty much every day. And then under my sink, we have all my other products, 
my Dyson. I haven't even started cleaning all that out, so I'm not even gonna look at it. But it's so much better and so much more organized. All right, you guys. Thank you for sticking around and helping me get ready for the new year, getting prepared for the new year. The last thing is I wanted to talk about my planner. So I got this planner from Target. It just says 2022 planner. I've always bought in planners and in college I really stuck to a planner because you have to be organized. You have to know when your tests and your studies are. But then once I graduated, I really like got out of a planner. On keeping a routine is having this planner. I didn't really write anything yet in for today. So I figured that we could do that together. So today is Monday, January 3rd. And I don't really have any plans specifically for today. I don't have to work. I really am just focusing on like three goals that I want to accomplished today. Honestly, I've accomplished today with you guys more than because I wanted to get ready for the year and just prepping and being organized. So I'm going to give myself three goals for the rest of today. It is 2.30. Okay, so first to do is I want to start editing this video. I need to drink a gallon of water and then I'm going to plan my YouTube videos for tomorrow. Okay, so those are my three goals and I can show you it closer up. So for my days, you can just put if you have anything to do that day and then my to-dos. For a while, I really struggled with creating myself a really large like to-do goal list and then I wouldn't accomplish it and I would just really get down on myself. It's all somewhere like on Pinterest or something that if you give yourself three goals, like you can do three things in a day, give yourself three things that push you towards your dream life, your dream goal, even if it's little and it's one step closer to getting there. So these three I think are important for my current month's dreams, resolutions that I want to accomplish. I'm going to start editing this video that you're watching now. I'm going to drink a gallon of water and I'm going to plan the YouTube videos that I am going to make tomorrow. And I have some TikToks that I'm going to make either today or tomorrow as well. So definitely follow me on other social media channels if you haven't already. I'm excited for this year. I have a lot of videos planned. I have a lot of goals in mind that I'm trying to accomplish so let's definitely accomplish them together i'm definitely learning and trying to grow my channel as much as possible and i love interacting with you guys so definitely leave me a comment on what your goals and resolutions are and i will see you guys next time bye